morning team i am just leaving the shelter uh, i think you can see the sign back there maybe not it is really foggy and wet i actually pulled out my rain jacket um, because it's supposed to start raining um, later on this morning um, and i really don't want to be messing with my pack um, I had a pretty good night. I slept okay. I mean, I sleep in like hour and a half to two hours increments every night anyway, so it was nothing new. And I got hot again. I might have to not use my liner, my quilt liner, um, because I'm waking up sweating. So at least I know that I can stay warm if it gets really, really cold. And speaking of cold, there is a winter storm coming heading this way. Temperatures are going to be dropping to the teens. So like I mentioned on yesterday's video, I am going to stay at a hostel um, just to weigh out the storm mostly because I just started the trail and I want to get a couple more weeks under my belt before I face inclement weather. Um, I want to be smart about this and not get a that taste in my mouth right away from the gecko but um yeah so i'll show you the hostel once i get there um i should be getting there this afternoon besides that the goal is to make it to gooch gap that's where my shuttle driver is going to pick me up and we'll go from there um hopefully um well actually i'm hoping to get some views today um it finally cleared up yesterday, but there was no real views um, of the mountains yesterday. So let's see what happens today. I don't know if it's going to stay like this all day, um, but I'm ready. So let's do this. I got this. to go up this mountain I had to stop and share this with you all I've been hiking all morning and honestly about three people passed me because I'm slow and steady that's my mantra um, and um, when there's nobody around I feel like I'm the only person in the world it's such a peaceful feeling you know like not a care, not a worried. It feels good. Even though going uphill still sucks. But just the thought of peace. And just feeling like I'm the only person in the world. That's, that's wild. That's crazy. Anywho, I just want to share that with you. So what's your YouTube Hi, team. Oh, Here I am. Just trekking along, and it's absolutely beautiful. This area right here, completely surrounded by trees. Right ahead of me, I have Popeye. You wanna say hi, Popeye? Hi, Popeye. <laughs> he is an AT through hiker. He also has his own YouTube channel, Popeye Hikes the AT. Is that correct? Uh, the Appalachian Trail, but I think you can find it. Okay, yep. so yeah, so look him up. Yeah, I just met Popeye today and we've been having a great conversation for the past, what, 45 minutes? Since uh, Cooper Gap? Yeah, so it's so been nice. We may stick together for a little bit, who knows? Yeah. It's, I started out with different people and I haven't seen them since. It's all good, it's all good, it's all part of it. Absolutely. Don't try this at home, she is a trained professional. Just left Gooch Gap Shelter. 
Um, that's where I took my lunch. Um, hang out for about two and a half hours. I got to the shelter really, really early. Um, like I mentioned, I am hiking faster than I thought. Um, and my body feels pretty good, but I'm still not going to try to push it and do big mouths. Not yet. Um, so I had lunch and hang out, talk to a couple hikers, met a through hiker that's his flip-flopping. Didn't catch his name though. And he's finishing in Virginia. He's about 600 miles away from finishing. He started up in Maine. Crazy, right? Um, but... Yeah, so right now I'm going to Gooch Gap to be, to be picked up by my shuttle driver. Um, and I will guess I'll record whenever I get to the hostel. You have to excuse me. I'm going up a hill, so I am huffing and puffing. All right, into a little bit. All right, I made it to Gooch Gap. Um, now I have about 45 minutes. Um, to wait for my shuttle driver um, to pick me up and go to the hostel. Once I get to the hostel, I'll probably walk around, show you a little bit of, of it, and do my close out for the day. Um, overall, overall, it was a really good day. I got to talk to tons of people today, and I get to meet um, Popeye that has a YouTube channel as well. So, alrighty. There's a couple cars down there, and I heard a rumor that there may be trail magic, so I'm gonna go check it out. You know where this was made? Yeah, All right, I'm at Gooch Cap, and this is the first trail magic that I receive. I just had a banana. I wasn't really hungry. But they do this every year at the beginning of March for the hikers. Pretty cool. Hi team. So I made it to Barefoot Hostel. Um, this is the building right behind me that I'm staying at. Um, it is a four bunk room. Um, there's people sleeping in there. That's why I'm doing the videotaping out here um, to close out my day. So today I did um, nine, I'm sorry, 8.9 miles, and it felt pretty good. Um, I'm trying to coordinate some transportation, so I'm not taking a zero so early in my hike, and I can do a little bit of hiking tomorrow, so I'm waiting, you know, to hear back from a shuttle driver. If not, I'm going to hit the trail again on Sunday, because temperatures are supposed to rise um and snow and whatever falls um melt so we'll see if i'm taking a full zero tomorrow or if i am hiking a little bit tomorrow and if i hike tomorrow i'm going to be hiking to woody gap um which is like 3.7 miles so it's going to be like a super short day so besides that i feel good um mentally physically and Cannot wait to hit the trail again. Until tomorrow. Bye.